So take a look at this. Let's say you're having some blurred vision or some difficulty seeing. Or, you know what, you've got a little bit of nausea, upset stomach, or you have a general sense of fatigue throughout your body. Anyone in the audience want to take a guess as to what this may be? You in the front row here. Let's, let's get a mic. What's your name? Ka Kayla. <laughs> All right, Kayla. What, what do you think that means? Um, well, if I had to take a guess, I would say kidney failure for sure. Kidney failure? Mm -hmm. I, you know, I like where your head's at. Okay. And the truth is you couldn't diagnose just based upon those symptoms. What I'm trying to show people is that it's very easy to make a misdiagnosis because what those symptoms were could be a silent migraine. You heard that right. Silent migraines mean that you have the typical symptoms of a migraine, but no headache. And if you watch this animation, you'll understand that a typical migraine headache is thought to be a vascular headache. And you'll get dilation of the blood vessels, which will then send pain signals down nerve pathways. Well, in a silent migraine, those local pain signals don't cause headache. But you right. get all the other symptoms, and you can understand that as a doctor, it's a pretty difficult diagnosis to make. Oh, yeah. Because it's there's not some test headache. you can yeah. send. Right. These happen in kids a lot, too. And it can be really tough because they just may com complain that they're not feeling well, or they they're have nausea or decreased appetite or something, something completely different than a headache. And you can be just really confused. I was operating in New York City in my office. I get this call that all of a sudden at school, my son is having trouble speaking that his mental status has changed and that he oh, can't wow. move his arm. Holy cow. So what do, you, what, do you, what do you immediately <laughs> think? I mean, you think yeah, of stroke, stroke yeah. mm -hmm. maybe presentation of a brain tumor, something like that. And the final diagnosis was an atypical migraine. Sometimes you have to right, you rule it. out all these other things to get to the right diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So that's why we do have to go through all these tests. But the one thing that's in common with what we were talking about with Chandra Wilson and her daughter and cyclical vomiting syndrome, is if someone's getting these symptoms repetitively, that's when you have to start asking yourself, mm -hmm. could this be a silent migraine? Why do you need to get the right diagnosis? Because there are treatment options. So if you treat these silent migraines like a typical migraine, you can reduce symptomatology and reduce the triggers as well.